Hello everyone, I am Code Console, and today I'm showing you how to make a simple button mechanism where once you click it, it goes up by one. And uh, this one's very simple. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a little button to our thingy. So we're gonna want a button to do this and what we're also gonna need is a combinator chip which you'll find in the filters of math chips under gadgets and it should be the plus and minus well minus and plus so what you want to do is go here and then to see how much you have we can use a sign so we have our sign here and um, what we're gonna do is we are going to wire this little red thing here to this little red thing here attach this little red output red plus green plus blue to this green right here so whenever you click it it'll go up by one and you'll notice when I attach this to the red it will show nothing but when I type in curly bracket R curly bracket it doesn't matter if it's uppercase or lowercase this that will be a text variable and this will show you if um, how much is being put into this uh, little arrow here so that out, the number is, is getting input into it is three and so that is that and four five six seven eight nine ten so uh, that's basically what that that's it and we can do is you can also get a reset button. I'm gonna make it red and attach it this little red to the reset signal. So now as I clicked it, it went to zero. And I pushed again. Two, three, four, five. I click it, I click the red button, and it goes back to zero. Another mechanism you can do is you can make it so that if it's at a number you can make it reset. So, what you wanna do, you wanna go into gadgets, math chips, and see the comparer chip with the little the tall one with the evil signs in it. Spawn that in, configure. This is all the little variables you get, so if this doesn't equal green, if red doesn't equal green, and if red is greater than green, red is less than green, yeah, you know. Advanced mode is where uh, the, num the number that's put into it. So let's say one, two, this output's a two. So that's easily can be used for player outputs. And uh, what you wanna do is go from this left side to this little red pin here, red plus green plus blue. Attach this to the left side, which is the red and go configure on the right side and click on this little green circle here and then click input and do whatever number you want so i'm going to say 15. this does not reset it yet see this isn't attached to anything and so when you had advanced mode off it will just do it do a normal one so what you want to do you want to get a boolean chip under gadgets and math chips you can go on the first one boolean chip outputs a combined outputs a combined comparison of inputs and or not so what we want to do is and or not we want to use or so we're going to attach this and this to the uh not to compare the um, boolean chip and so we want to take the reset off of the button and attach it to the compare ch the boolean chip sorry and so this means either it equals 15 or the buttons clicked it will reset aka output a one so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen 15 so it reset so let's see i clicked it six times i clicked the reset button again and it reset so what we're gonna do 
we're gonna get rid of this ore trip because I'm gonna do another little thing for you. And it is going to be how to like multiply when you click the button. So first you wanna spawn in a comparer trip. When you uh, in gadgets and math chips and click turn on advanced mode and make this little teal pin right here if that's the if signal and so that's what i showed before it is what what the number is going to output if th when these are uh equal since this is the equal so let's say it's going to multiply by six and what we're going to do we're going to configure this left side to one and detach, d detach this arrow from this uh, combinator and attach the combinator to the comparer. And then what we're gonna do, we're going to attach this red little arrow on the button to this red pin on the left side. So, <clears throat> we're going to click this button, and it goes up by six every time we press it. Get creative! <laughs> and do this. Just have fun. And yeah. If you put out the one, it'll just output the normal one. So that's basically it for the uh, little increment thing right here by one press it and yeah so that's all for right now and i will see you all next time bye um i don't know what i'm doing here <laughs> um booth table is not optional you can uh you don't need these I just gotta use this because I uh, have nothing to work with here. And uh, turn this off. But this is grabbable, so I'm gonna turn it so it's not grabbable. And it's equal. So now we're gonna work. And uh, so, I mean, if it'll spawn in. When I click this button, 15 times Ooh. and we're gonna attach this